بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا وحبيبنا مولانا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه وبارك وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته um, Can I just make sure everybody can hear me uh, إن شاء الله and then we can proceed Okay, we start the du'a together. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Subhanaka la ilma lana illa ma allamtana. Allahumma allimna ma yanfa'una wa zidunna ilma ya muqallib al-qulub. Thabit qulubana ala deenik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Once again, I pray that all of you are well, inshallah wa ta'ala. And especially during these blessed days of the hijjah May Allah bless your families. May Allah accept whatever we do in these days. And forgive us for all our, our shortcomings. Allahu Amin. Alhamdulillah, good to be back in class again. Alhamdulillah. Let's begin immediately. Um, I won't go through this again, but this you should uh, recognize well, uh, inshallah. You should recognize this well. Um, this is basically an outline of how far we we have progressed. So we finished Jumlat Fi'aliyah, we finished Jumlat Ismiyah, and we finished three of the murakabs of the fragments of the compounds. Masuf and Sifa, we finished. Harfu Jar Ism Majurur and Mudafun and Mudafun Idei. We are finished at that as well. And currently, what we are doing is we are focusing quite a bit on the on the Damir. So, the Damir is like a, a type of word in Arabic uh, called the pronoun. And just to refresh your memory again, the Damir is uh, two types the one is attached and the one is detached. So, the um, detached ones, if you can just uh, uh, refresh, inshallah, and just say it with me on, on mute is fine. Hua, hum, hiya, hunna, anta, antum, anti, antunna, ana, nahnu. Again, hua, hum, hiya, hunna, anta, antum, anti, antunna, ana, nahnu. And you can do it with translation as well. Hua, hi, hum, them. Hiya, she, hunna, them, females. Anta, you one male. Antum, you many males, mixed group. Anti, you one female. Antunna, you many females. Ana, I, nahnu, we. So that is going to be the detached pronouns. And then you get the attached version. The attached one appears at the end of a isam, a fi'al, or a harf. So who can be like him or his? Like taraba, who means he hit him. Or baytu, who means his house. Or fi, he means in him. So him or his. Hum, they, they or theirs. Like daraba, hum means he hit them. Or baytu, hum means their house. Lahum means for them. Ha, she, hunna, or uh, she or hers, or her. Hunna, they or them for group of females. Ka, for you one male, kum, you many males, ki, you one female, kunna, you many females, e, like baiti, my house, toraba, ni, he hit me, so e can be e or ni, for my, and na, for ours, baituna, our house, and so on. So before we go to your homework, I wanted you to just give you a little bit of a challenge. Um, it's always more difficult to translate um, English to Arabic as opposed to Arabic to English. So it's more difficult to translate, to create Arabic from English. But I want you to try, inshallah. So I'm not going to ask you immediately to say the answer. On your own, I'll give you a minute. How do we say this in Arabic, these words in Arabic? On your own, I'll give you a minute. His house, their house, your house, your pen, our pen, my pen. How do we say those words in Arabic? Um, just take a minute on your own. And quickly um, try and work out the answers. You know, house is bait and, and pen is column, but how do you make those expressions? So I'll give you a minute and then I'll ask you to, to give me feedback afterwards.
if you want to, if you can write fast enough, you can even write them, or you can just say them verbally, or you can write them if you are, are able to. We are translating the, the English words, his house, their house, and so on, into Arabic. Okay, so Bismillah, what I'll do now is I'll take some answers. So who wants to go first? What is his house in Arabic? What is his house in Arabic? Who is going first today, inshallah? Baytuhu. Okay, good. That was Baytuhu. So Bayt, Bayt means house, so Baytuhu. I want all the harakat on, but hopefully you know the harakat more or less. Pay to who is, add some more quickly. Pay to who is his house. Next one, their house. A new person every time. Their house, new person. You can just shout out the answer. Pay to whom? Good, pay to whom? Pay to who and pay to, to whom? How do you say your house? Pay to ka. Good, so Beitu, Beitu, Ka. Beitu, Ka, I'm doing the, the in Harakat. How do you say your pin for one female? Pin is column, you know. So I'll you say you, your pin for one female. Just add you chat on that. So I mean, Hunna. Hunna is for it's their pen for group of females. So we're busy with a with a kazia. Ka kum ki kunna. Kalamuki. Kalamu. Kalamuki. Good. So remember the ka the kaz is the other use. Kalamuka, your pen, kalamukum, your many males, kalamuki, your one female. Good. Next one. I'll just say our pen. Kalamuna. Good. You can even type the answers in the in the in the chat as well. Ka la mu na. Good. How do we say my pin? Remember, what do we add for for my? Can we show someone new inshallah? Just just unmute and shut up. Qala me, qala me, good. Oops, what happened to my okay? I lost that one. Qala me with a ya at the at the end. Qala me. Qala me. Good. So all of those are examples of a Pronoun, which in Arabic is called a damir, attached to an ism, an ism. What would the label be on top of each of those pronouns? The nahu label. Mudaf, mudafun ilay. Okay, good. So each one of those pronouns are mudafun ilay. Baytu, his house, the house of him. Baytu, whom their house, the house of them. Baytuka, your house, the house of you, and so on. So whenever you have a pronoun attached to an ism, it's always going to be mudafun ilay. Okay, good. Next one. I'm going to give you, not, don't shout out the answers now, just take a minute quickly. Take a minute and translate the next one. He helped her. I helped him. We helped you, one female. He not is her. I am helping. Ha. Okay, so, so, so I think, uh, let's, give it, let's give it a moment, inshallah. And then we're going to give everybody a minute just to work it out. You can do it verbally or you can write it out, write it down as well, inshallah. The key is to break up the two, separate the two. The I am helping, we are helping with the, with the pronoun separately. So take a moment, I'll give you a minute and I'm going to ask you to give me feedback. No, 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 while we wait, uh, 
وانا ضابط على ايير شات وانت تو ترانسليت او هوليدايز او هوليدايز اف ايير شات كان دو ذات نيكري نيكري نيكس ويك اوف اي ثينك هي از از هي از هي اي كان سي مي اوني مي اوف مولانا او او فور ذا هول كلاس حبيبي ذس لايك ا فرد كفايه اف يو جيت رايت ذا هول كلاس جيت Okay, I'll work hard at it now. <laughs> <laughs> you better check on Google what the all, all that is. <laughs> I'm putting it into Google Translate now. So if you want to learn to speak Arabic, then you must be able to process these quite quite quickly. Because as you're going to speak, you're going to be using the mirrors all the time. Um, no. So Bismillah, let's go with the first one. Come, can we have some new new voices? Who's ready, inshallah? He helped her. He helped her. What's the translation for that? Nasrah. <laughs> Nasara, good. So Nasara means he helped. Nasara, where's my side here? Nasara, Nasara means he helped. And if I add her, it will be Nasara. Ha, good. Next one, I helped him. Nasara to who? Say it again, please. Nasara to who? Good, Nasar to who? I've lost my my cursor here. Okay, so that is Nasar to who? Sorry, my, I can't find my cursor. Okay, Nasar to. I can just give you some harakate. Na. Sar to. So can we separate the two? Nasar to means I helped. If I say I helped him, Nasar to who? Good. Next one. We helped you one female. Nasar naki. Okay. Nasar na or Nasar na? Nasar na. Good. Nasar, nasar na means we helped. And Nasar Naki means we helped you, one female. Next one. Now we go to the present tense verb. He is helping her. Molana, um, if that was we helped her, would that be Nasar Na? Ah, it just sounds funny. Sorry, it's not her. Sorry, it's we helped no. you, one female. But if it was, it would be Nasar Na. Okay. If it was, okay. it would be. Well, maybe there was a rule there or something. Okay. No, no, it's just as is. Okay, Bismillah, he is helping her. He is helping. Yang suruha. Good. Yang, like the normal verb, Nasara yang suru. Yang suru means he is helping. Yang suru. And then yang suru means he is helping. If I add the her, it becomes yang suru. Good. I am helping him. An ansuruhu. Good. And if you go down the scale, yansuru, yansuruna, tansuru, yansurna, tansuru, tansuruna, tansurina, tansurna, ansuru, I am helping. An suru, I am helping. I am helping him. Ansuru, who? Good. Next one. We are helping you, one female. Nansuru ki. Good. Nansuru means Nansuru means we are helping. Nansuru ki means we are helping you one female. Good. Excellent. So those are all going to be uh, pronouns attached to a verb. Now if I look at the first one, Nasara ha. What's the label we put on the ha? Nasara means he helped. Nasara ha, he helped her. What's the label on the ha? 
Maf'ulun bihi. Maf'ulun bihi, good. If nasartuhu, nasartu means I help. What's the name on the who? Nasartuhu. The fa'il. Remember, the who, is the who doing the action or is the who, the action being done to the who, to the him? Say maf, it's, it's maf'ulun bihi. Good, maf'ulun bihi. The ta is the fa'il. The ta is the fa'il and the who is the maf'ulun bihi. Good, next one. Nasarnaki. What's the key there? Maf'ulun bihi. Maf'ulun bihi. Yansuruha. What's the ha there? Maf'ulun bihi. Yeah. Maf'ulun bihi. So all of these, when you attach a pronoun to a verb, it's going to be maf'ulun bihi. When you attach it, hu, hum, ha, hunnaka, kum, ki, kunna, ina. When you attach it to a verb, it's going to be maf'ulun bihi. When you attach it to an ism, it's going to be mudafun ilayhi. I hope that makes sense. Inshallah. Um, next one. I'm going to give you a minute, inshallah, for the next one. To do the to do the ones attached to a Maulana. No. For for the other scale, I think it was called the passive scale for like um Uila or Nusira. So in that scale, we already know the the mafulun be because it's done to to that person. Yes. And if yes, we attach yes. if we attach a pronoun, would that be the file then? You remember, I remember, was, I remember I, on, on that yeah. scale there is no file because it's passive voice. Voice. So khalaqa okay. means he created. Khuliqa means he was created. So that verb has no file. Okay, but we we can't. Um, Add a attached pronoun. You can attach sometimes if there's two mafuls. Okay. Uh, but I think let's just leave it for now because we, that lesson we actually do next year. So I mean, just in, in summary, quickly in that lesson, what what used to be the fa'il, like what what is it, what is the meaning of khuliqtu? I was created. I was created. So it's like, a, it's like a strange thing now because what was the maf'ul almost takes the place of the fa'il. Uh, mm. But we do it next year, inshallah. So we just rather leave it for next year, for a while. <coughs> but to answer your question, in that majhul scale, you can attach, uh, attach a, um, a, a damir if that verb has two maf'uls. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have a quick question, please, if we can backtrack while we're waiting. Yes, please. Um, for the first set of words that we've done on the isms, yes, yes. Right? before we add the, the mudaf and ilay, like the your or the our, um, all of those end in rough, aside from yes. my pen, right? Column me. Yes. Um, so as far as I can remember, correct me if I'm wrong, please, that that hal is set because uh, based on the way it is in the sentence. Yes, yes, yes. But now with the uh, with the my, the word for my is with the kasra uh, uh, and then the ya. Does that override um, what the hal would be? Or okay. because I see there okay. by, by default we've been putting rough, 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 and then yes, yes, yes. Uh, okay, so it's a, it's a good observation. So how could you? Is it possible for us to put dhamma on kalami? No. Hold on. How would you say that? <laughs> exactly, yeah. So basically, when it comes to the my, like kalami, in raf'un is kalami, in nasbun is kalami, and in jarrun is kalami. Okay. Because you, you're forced to say e. So for all the others, you can change it. For example, you can say, you can say kalamuhu, kalamahu, or kalamihi. You can say mu, ma, mi. But when it comes okay. to my, you can't say that. Because you can't say kalamui or kalamai. Yeah, it's, so you okay. can say So so that that hal kalami is rough, nasb and jar. So it's basically in this case it's rough on because that's like the default. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay. Bismillah, let's go. To him. To him. What translation? To him, Bismillah. Ilaihi. So good. So to in Arabic is ila. So to is ila. Ila, Ila. But when I add the, the him, it becomes Ilaihi. Ilaihi. Ila, he, Ilaihi. 
Good. Next one. Every time I annotate on the screen, I lose my cursor. So I have to guess where it is. Okay, next one. In us. What's in us? In now. Fee na. Good. Fee na. Fee in na us. Next one. For you. Three plus males. Lee kum. Lee kum. Okay, we can use li or what else can we use besides li? We can also use la. Li or la is the same thing. So what sounds better, li kum or la kum? La kum. La kum. La kum. Sound familiar? La kum, di nu kum, wal yadin, sotul kafirun. La kum, for you. No. Upon you. Bismillah. Alaikum. Good. Upon you is Alaikum. Ala means upon, and all of you three plus males means kum. Alaikum. Normally, Arabic, if something is for you, uh, it's like a, it's it's in your benefit, it's in your favor. And when something is upon you, Alaikum, uh, it has different meaning. It can either mean against you. It can mean something is incumbent upon you, like it's a responsibility as well. So we la lakum is almost like a a favor. It's, it's in your favor, but alaykum can either mean against you or can mean a a favor, a, a responsibility upon you. Alaykum. Next one. About it. Anhu. Anhu. Good for masculine thing. Anhu. So an. Hu. And now, how do you say about it for a female thing? Anha. 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 Good. What What is the label on the he and the na and the kum? Ismu majurur. Okay, good. So all of those are harful jar ila fi la ala ala so harful jar. And the in, the ha, the na, the kum, the kum, the ha, the ha, ha, all of those are ismul majroor. They all ismul majroor. Okay, so I want to have some practical uh, examples of how we how we add those labels. I hope you you manage that. Do you all manage that? I think you must give. Isn't there like a thumbs? Okay, you can't give me thumbs. There's too many thumbs here. But inshallah, hopefully you all manage that uh, somewhat. Uh, just to attach the harful jar, I mean, attach the, the pronoun to a ism, a fi'al, and a harf. Okay. You had some homework to do. You had 7.3 to do. Did I give you 7.2 for homework? Or didn't I give it to you? I think, Mom, I, I say we must skip the, the verb, the, I think the verb based one, and then focus on the noun based. Yes, like that. From the Quran. Okay, so, so I, I didn't give I didn't give you I didn't give you the seven point two. Okay, so let's open our our, our, our exercise book. Um where are we now? Let's open our exercise book and then we can start from there, inshallah. So seven point three, I don't think we finished marking it last week. Uh, although we, 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 we will or we have sent you the answer sheet, but let's just go through a bit of 7.3 just for a few moments just to, to make sure we catch up, inshallah. So, number 11, falahu ajruhu. What's the translation? Falahu ajruhu. Let me just maximize this. Falahu ajruhu. You can give me translation and then we can try the labels afterwards. For him, his reward. Um, falahu ajruhu. Um, good, let me just find this thing here. Okay, you can put this here. Falahu for, for him, and we'll add the easier, but why don't I worry about now? For him, lahum is 
is a reward. Okay, good. Do you want to give me some labels for that? So, so again, for, for these ones, you do the labels that you know. The labels you don't know is fine. So I know who is Ismul Majroor, and okay, cool. I wasn't sure within Fala which one was the Harful Jar or they were both. Harful okay, so jar. the La, the La, good. So the La is a Harful Jar, and the Who there is a Ismul Majroor. Majroor, yes. What about the the Who on the on the end of Ajr? Ajr Who? That's Mudaf Ilay. That's a Mudaf Ilay. His reward or the reward of of him. Good. So do you do you say just the who is the mudafale and the ajru is the muda? As a, you ajru is muda. There's another label for the ajru, but no, I don't get into it now because oh, you haven't okay. done it. Okay, so some of these you haven't done all the labels, so we just do the ones that you can. But there is another label for ajru who, which is hard to explain now. Bismillah. Next one. Ula ika alayhim. So we take a different person every time, inshallah. Different person every time. Ula ika alayhim la'natullah. Translation first. Do we do whatever labels we can do? Again, I encourage you, those of you who haven't spoken, just to join, inshallah, and speak. Sister Wasima, bismillah. Um, I've got those upon them is the curse of Allah. So, ula'ika, this is that ula'ika, those. So then they have upon them is the curse, the curse of Allah. Okay, good. Um, now, which labels do you know there? Um, I you should know I, I lay him. What, what's happening there? So I lay is harful jar and him will be ismu majrur. Okay, the him is ismu majrur. Good. And la'natullahi. That will be mudaf and Allah will be mudafun ilay. Okay, mudaf and the word Allah will be mudafun ilay. Okay, so we, sorry, this must be here. Yeah. This must be here. Yeah. And this must be mudafun ilay. Good. Next one. Ula'ika lahum nasibum mimma kasabu. Who's next? A new person, inshallah. Bismillah. Next. Are the coins? Bismillah. Um, <laughs> for those, uh, those for them is a portion of that which uh, they profit or earn. Okay, the, those I mean, we think very literally, so that's fine. Lahum for them is a nasib, is a portion. Mima, what did you say for that verse? That which. That uh, um, minma is difficult to see, but but minma is actually min. What what does min Arabic mean? Uh, from, from. So 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 minma is actually min plus ma, from the ma that which. But they put it together, so it becomes minma from that which. What's kasabu? Uh, kasabu is. But they earn. They earn. Okay, they earn is better because they earn. Okay, so good. Ulaika, ulaika. Those, lahum for them, nasibun is a portion. Mimma min plus ma is a portion from that which they earn. Okay, so do you know any labels? Let us go. Bismillah. Ulaika, we don't know. Lahum, we should know. What's lahum? Good, harful jar and ismul majru. Nasibun is difficult. Mim, if if just listen, think about it. If mim ma is min plus ma, what what is min? Harful jar. And the ma must be what? Ismul majru. Ismul majru. Good, that's a difficult one. So I didn't expect you to see that one, but that's like a bonus bonus question. Uh, ismul majru. And kasabu obviously is going to be a. What's kasabu? As, as a fi'al madi and um, the, the, the fa is the fi'al and the wum is the is the um, fa'il. So 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 where is the fa'il on this word? The u that's the wum. Okay, for the, from the wow the wow there, that's going to be be the fa'il. It's at, at the end of the word. This u part here is going to be the end. Good stuff, mashallah. Next one. 
falahum ajruhum inda rabbihim who's next even if you're unsure you can just try and we'll get someone to help you if you get stuck Who's next? You guys are making an awkward silence now. I'm just sitting here in silence. Bismillah. Falahum ajruhum inda rabbihim. Sit us near Bismillah. Malana Ayyav. Them. So they face them near the Lord. Okay, so let's do the word. What does falahum mean? Um, what does five mean? So, so all things fun. So, so, lahum. Um, I'm confused now. So we're only translation now. Don't worry about labels. What does lahum mean? For for them. So for them. No, I'm good. What's ajruhum? Um, the faces. So Ajr in Arabic uh, actually means reward. Waj in oh. Arabic is face. So Ajr means the reward. So what's Ajruhum? The reward. Yes. So for them, and I'm putting brackets here because you can't see it here, but there's an ease. For ease, their reward. Their reward. What does Inda mean? Um... About. In, okay, in the, um, it's not a harful jar, so it's a different a new word. It means with or by. With, and what's Rabbi him? Um, the Lord. The Lord. So let's go to the translation. Fa lahum, fa, so. Lahum, for them. Is in brackets. Ajruhum, their reward. In the, with. Rabbihim, the Lord. So let's do some labels. Lahum, do you know the label there? Um, so la will be your harful jad. Yes. And hum will be ismu majrur. Good. And then ajruhum, ajr is the ism. Yeah, okay, ajr is the ism and then hum will be um, the... Um, it's, it's like paid to whom? It's the, um, the mudaf. mudaf but the, the, the ajr will be the mudaf and the, the whom will be mudafun ilahi. How about rabbi him? Is that also a mudaf and mudafun ilay? Good, perfect. So it's also a mudaf and mudafun ilay. Okay, good. Mashallah. Number 15. Alayka la'nati ila yawmiddin. Alayka la'nati ila yawmiddin. Bismillah. Someone new, inshallah. Bismillah. Just try. They're saying, uh, saying Arabic, that two people don't learn. The one who is shy and the one who is proud. So, Bismillah. Alayka la'nati ila yawmiddin. I'm going to give it a go, yeah? Bismillah. Bismillah. I have upon you. Okay, so I'll just go, go, sorry. Alayka upon you. Upon you. La'nati. Uh, is my curse. Is my curse Ila Yomidin? Okay, so this one, this one got me. I think so. I, 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 okay, so I'll be inshallah. Let's translate Dean as judgment. What does Ila mean? Uh, Ila is. Until. Until, or we can say two as well. Ila can be two. Min is from and Ila is to. What's Yom? Day. And Deen? Uh, so judgment. 
Judgment. What do you what do you what do you notice about the end of Yom? The end of Yom is uh, uh, it's normally if it's not out, so it should be Yomin, but yet it's Yomi. So it's that it's light in the dark. Light and a D ni. That's in charge of the dark in the light. So if I would just like Yomid Din, you must add what? The the good day. The day of the day of of judgment. Of judgment or recompense, any of those right? Okay, good. So Alaika upon you, La'nati is my curse ila to the day of judgment. Let's try some labels quickly. What does Alaika mean? Alaika. What label you put you're gonna put on the car? Could be a Allah Allah is a hard food jar, so what's the ka? Ismul Majrur. Good. Ismul Majrur. How about the word La Nati? So La Nati, so it's like Baiti. Okay. That is an ism. Lana, good. Lana is the ism. And what's the e at the end? E is. Mudaf. Mudaf. Good. Perfect. So the e is going to be a. Mudafun. Ilay. What's the ila? Karfuja. Good. What's the yom? Ism majrur. Good. And what is the. Adini. That is Mudafun Ilay. Good. Mudafun Ilay. Perfect. I didn't even put all the labels, there's not enough space here, but that was perfect. So Alaika, Alaika, Ala, Ismu Majrur. Ka, sorry, Ala, Ala, Harfujar. Ka, Ismu Majrur, Alaika. La, Nati, remember the E, any E means my, that's Mudafun Ilay. Ila, Harfujar. Yom, Ismu Majrur. At the same time, Yom is also a Mudaf, and Adini is Mudafun Ilayhi. Mashallah. Well, then there's also a question. So, one before that, then, you know, the, I think we said, Fa la hum. Yes. Right? So, we're saying the la, there is a. The harful, harful, the la, harful. The la is equivalent to the li. It's equivalent to the li. Yes. Bita so, bita wa li ka or bita wa la ka. Okay, okay, fine. Shukran. Shukran. Afan. Number six, tricky. Very tricky, by the way. <laughs> No, but you're doing well, mashallah. Like, like for me, it's like very rewarding to see the students being able to translate the whole like section of a verse and add the labels. Uh, from where you came in with ism fi al harf, you've come a long way, mashallah. So, Bismillah. Wal amru ilayki. Wal amru ilayki. Who's going? Well, Amru. Al Amru, you can, you can translate uh, like as command. Nice short one. I, I have that. Um, and the command is to you. Good. And the command is to you. And you, you male or female? Female. One female, yes, speaking about Bilqis here in the story of Surah Nabi Sulaiman and Bilqis. What's the label on the key? That is a Ismu Majrur. Ismu Majrur, perfect. Okay. Next one, number 17. Isha, this one's for you actually. Sa'alaka ibadi anni. Okay, but Sadarama wants to go. Bismillah. Okay, so let's, I can't say it again. Ask you, Sa'alaka, ask you, Ibadi, my servants. My Ani. servants, ask you about? About me. About me. Okay, good. So stay with me. Let's do the labels exactly. So, Sa'ala, what does Sa'ala on its own mean? Ask. Asked. So we, Asa'ala is like fa'ala as a verb. 
Where is the doer for Sa'ala? So, ka, are you asking or who's, who's doing the asking in the sentence? Just, just check the translation. Now, who's doing the asking in the sentence? The servants. My servants. The servants. Unless so, actually, the servants here, and it's hard to see here, the servants here are the, are the fa'il. The servants here are the fa'il. And why I said, Brother Ishaq must do this because he asked me now about this. <laughs> The word what, what ibadi, ibadi means what? My servants or my slaves? How do I? How does ibadi look in rafun? Ibadi. Ib, ibadi in rafun is ibadi and nasbun. Um, ibadi. Just, just ibadi so good. Uh, and in jarun. Ibadi. Ibadi. So basically what happens when you add E, you can't see the hal. Because in Rafun, Ibadi is Ibadi. In Nasbun, it's Ibadi. And in Jarun, it's also Ibadi. ibadi. So in other words, what hal do you think this Ibadi is in? It's in Rafun. In Rafun, perfect. So therefore, Sa'ala is asked and Ibadi, my slaves, is, is the fa'il. So what's the label on the ka? Who are the slaves asking? There should be the um, uh, the naive no? No, 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 we haven't even done that yet. Sa'alaka. <laughs> Who are the slaves asking? You. You. So it's going to be what? My dog is on the new that will be the maf'ul bi. So remember, whenever we have a a damir attached to a, a fi'l, it's always going to be a maf'ul bi. Okay, good. Let's do anni. What is an? Anni is my servant. Oh, okay, good. So so so, so 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 which label do you put on an? An an is part of job. Good. And the e? Um, uh, is. Um, after Harv Jai comes, what always? Ismu Majroor. Ismu Perfect. Perfect. Okay, good, mashallah. So it's a nice one because that's the Jumla tool. Fi'liya. Sa'ala asked Ibadi, my slaves. Asked my slaves. Ka asked my slaves. You, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, anni. Wa idha sa'ala ka ibadi anni, fa inni qareeb. Naam. Good. Three more. Bal, bal rafa'ahu Allahu ilayhi. That Rafa'a is normal, just fa'ala Rafa'a. So, Brother Isha, Bismillah. Masmulana, well, I had a question for the previous one. So, yes. the word anni, is there a shadda because of the sukun on the an? So, to, to, to put that kasra and then the ya, you have to make it a shadda. So, um, let me just think quickly. It's an plus e, so uh, I think it's basically an plus a knee. So an plus a knee will be an plus a knee. So let me just do it like this for you. It will be an plus a. Ni. Where does that other noon come from? So the noon sometimes what happens is that that noon we use when we we, we 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 can't pronounce the word without it. I'll give you an example when it says like Taraba and you want to say hit me. How do you say hit me? He hit me. He hit me. Yeah. So Varaba and then you put a E at the end. So how do you put an E on the end? Varaba ni. Oh, okay. Can you see? So, so sometimes yeah. you're forced to put the noon there. Varaba ye. Okay. Because you can't make Varaba ye. You know what I mean? So sometimes you, you're forced to put the, the noon there to basically preserve the ta, the preserve the year. Can you, can so you all, do you only ever add a noon? Can you add any other letter there? No, they always add a noon. Oh, okay. Okay, there's a special name I call noon wiqaya, but that's a special noon that they add. So therefore, an ni, if you read this, Anni is same as that there. Okay, Anni. okay, that makes sense. 
Okay, cool. Bismillah. Next one. Bal rafa'u. Bal rafa'uhu. Rafa'uhu Allahu ilayhi. Translation, Bismillah. I, I can take that from another. Bismillah, let's go. Um, no, Allah lift him to lifted him towards him. Okay, so bal we we would rather translate yeah. as like rather or however or uh, but it's rather okay. Uh, okay. Rafa'ahu Allahu, Allah. What do you say? Lifted him. Lifted or raised. Yeah. Him. Ilayhi. Towards him. Towards uh, him. No. Allah is just speaking about Nabi Isa alayhi salam and the miraculous yeah. ascension. So he wasn't crucified. Bal rather rafa'ahu Allahu ilayhi. So let's do the, let's do the, the labels. Rafa'a is the verb, right? Raised. Who raised? So Allah Ta'ala. Allah, Allah Ta'ala is the fa'il there. Allah raised. What, what is mm -hmm. the who? The who is a maf'oon bihi. Maf'oon bihi. Good. What's the ilah? The rafa'a the rafa is a fi'il. Yes. Okay, then the and the ilayhi is a mudaf mudaf in ilay construction. No, not mudaf. Other one. Um. Pita walika fi ila. Oh, it's a harful jar. Ismun majrur. Ismun majrur. Ismun majrur. Perfect. Harful jar mm -hmm. and. Oh, mas. Yeah. Okay. Majrur. Okay, good. Masha Good. Next one, Allah. number 19. Ni'mati alaykum. Ni'mati alaykum. My favor. Good. Bismillah. My, my favor upon you. My favor. So, ni'mati. My favor. Upon you. So good. My favorite ni'mati upon you. Let's do the labels. What is the ni'mati? What's the e there? Mudaf ilay. It's the mudafun ilay. Good. We just find the mudafun ilay. Yeah. Good. It's the mudafun ilay. What's alaykum? Harful jar and ismu majroor. Good. Harful jar and ismu majroor. I'm going to both be all the harful jar and enough space. But ismu majroor, you know, ismu majroor is the one there. Good. Last one. Kataba rabbukum ala nafsihi rahma. What a beautiful verse to end of with. Kataba Rabbukum ala nafsihi rahmah. Bismillah wants to go. Sita Wasimah, Bismillah. Um, I've got your Lord wrote. Your Lord wrote. Upon. Himself. Himself. The mercy. Okay, the mercy. So basically, good. The mercy. So kataba. So let's go word for quickly. Kataba. Uh, what, what does this mean basically? Is when Allah wrote. In other words, Allah like inscribed, Allah ordained, ala nafsihi upon himself, a rahma. Meaning what Allah's defining, prevailing quality is, is rahma. Kataba rabbukum ala nafsihi a rahma. So let's go through it. Um, go. Let's go through the. Labels. So, kataba is what? Uh, the fi'al. Kataba is the fi'al. Or what type of fi'al? Um, past tense. Good. Past tense, fi'al maldi. Where is the fa'il? Uh, your Lord is the fa'il. So, Rabbu is the fa'il. What's the kum? Uh, mudafun ilay. Perfect. So, mudafun ilay. So, we have the fa'il to the left. Kataba rabbukum. Your Lord wrote or inscribed. Ala Harful Jar. A harful jar good and the nafsi. Um nafsi is Ismu Majrur. Is Majrur good and the he is Mudafunilay. Good Mudafunilay. And the last one. Ar Rahmata. Is that the Ismu Majrur? I didn't know that one. I, I, I okay, so, 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 so let's think about it. The word kataba. Who, who did the writing? Allah. Who, Allah wrote, right? What did he write? The mercy. Okay. The mercy. So what is it? Then that will be maf'ulun bi. 
Good, that's why it's Rahma. Okay. Tah. Good. So that's Maf'ulun Bihi. The Katab as a fi'il, Rabbukum is the fa'il, and the Rahmata is the Maf'ulun Bihi. It's a nice, uh, a nice uh, challenging one. Bismillah. I don't understand the, the translation. So your Lord yes, wrote sir. upon himself. So it's your Lord writing upon your Lord. Yes, yes. So basically that. Allah is... I translated as your Lord wrote upon his soul. So I thought it's referring to another person. Wrote upon someone okay, else. Nice. Yes, yes. Okay, so, so, so context will help you. So nafsi he can also mean his soul. Uh, so context will help you. But the, the he here goes back to Allah again. So Allah, because the word nafs can mean soul and the nafs can also mean self and nafs can mean person also. So nafs has a number of meanings. So what the meaning here is that Allah um, has like, like inscribed that he's, Allah has many qualities. We know the 99 names and there's more names than 99. Allah has many, many names and qualities and attributes. Um, the judge and the one that knows and the one that punishes and the one that gives life and the one that causes death. But Allah's predominant quality upon Himself that He has written upon Himself is Ar Rahma, is mercy. Okay. For translation, okay. I'll take out the the here just to make the translation a bit more smoother. Allah, uh, your Lord wrote upon Himself mercy. Like okay, inscribed upon Himself. Because yeah, the way I translated it also seems to make sense, but obviously I didn't know the context. So I thought yes, your yes, Lord yes, wrote yes. upon someone else mercy. Yes, yes. So, so I mean, uh, 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 basically, a tip is that when you don't know who the damir goes back to, um, it generally goes back to the the closest thing mentioned. Okay. That's like a general, uh, a general uh, Arabic, because when Allah says like His soul, who is His? So we can look back and say what was the last entity mentioned, and the last entity mentioned was Rabbukum. So therefore, it goes back to the the closest. Okay. okay, good. MashaAllah. So I think this was important just to go through this. I think it's beneficial to go through the answers. So I, I'm, I'm not going fast to the class in terms of adding new concepts every week, but I thought I'd, let's, go, let's go through this thoroughly. So for homework, inshallah, you can do 7.2. For homework, you can do 7.2. And then also for homework, I think it's going to be exciting also, is I would like you to take Surah Al-Fatiha. I was going to do that in class, but a bit out of time. Is I'd like you to take Surah Al-Fatiha. And I would like you to add as many labels as you can. So which labels you're going to add? Fa'il, maf'ulun bihi, mubtada, khabar, sifa, mawsuf, mudaf, mudaf, ilay, harfu, jar, ismul, majroor. Add as many labels as you can to Surah Al-Fatiha, like Bismillah, what's the B, what's the Ismi, what's the Allah, what's the Ar-Rahman, what's the Ar-Rahim, what's Alhamdu, what's Li, what's Allahi, what's Rabbi, what's Al-Alamina, Ar-Rahman. Try to put a label on on as many words as you can in Surah Al-Fatiha. Okay, that's going to be exciting for you. And also we'll do it next week, inshallah. So two pieces of Hamufa Naho. Well, I don't know if it's class, I'm still waiting for Brother Irshad here if he's going to come with my holiday or our holiday. You know, otherwise he's not going to get the holiday. Mark Mulana, I outsourced that work to Brother Tofiq, so I think he has it. Inshallah he has it, Brother Tofiq. Molana is it bi a ya dina? Bi a ya dina. Bi a ya. A ya is the plural of Eid. Yeah, Molana, multiple holidays, inshallah. It is three days. There's a reading. There's a reading. In South Africa, there's an Eid on a on a Friday. There's an Eid on a Saturday. Now you want to add Eid on Sunday also. It's three days, Molana. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Marshall. There, there was a there was a, a decent try. Be ayadina. It's our our ayad. It's our celebration. So, inshallah, next week we will be off on Sunday. Inshallah. So, alhamdulillah. <laughs> alhamdulillah. We'll have an ijazah holiday on 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 Sunday. Inshallah, and we'll carry on in two weeks' time. So, you we have two weeks for this. Inshallah, seven point 